do you think that the cultural cultural heritage keep holds people well, back? I, I don't know if you were around yesterday when I said an old Jewish man said, "Would you permit tradition?" That's what he meant by that. Yeah, oh, that's I what said to him, "Will you?" He says, "Of course." I said, "The Ku Klux Klan meets every month for seventy-five years. Is that okay with you?" He says, "No." So I said, "How do you select which tradition in the future? You know what I mean? What tradition?" So he uh, he said, "Well, our tradition is a good one." Well, so does the Klan believe it's a good one. Did you know there were three million members of the Ku Klux Klan in, in America? How many of you knew that? That should be in our history books. They marched in Washington with their pointed hats. Three million with people waving on the signs. So when I say, let's go back to the good old days, the good old days were more fascistic than de democratic. In the old days, you had slavery in America. The Indians were driven to a reservation. Cowboys solved problems by shooting each other. They walked ten paces, turned around and shot each other. Yeah. The good old days never existed. There was no such time as that. And the good old days were the slums of New York City. Terrible place where buildings would catch fire and they had no fire hose large enough to get to the top floor. You know, and crime was rampant. And the Americans, the American Irish used to fight with the American Italians. So the Mafia established the Godfather to protect the Italians. And then the Greeks had the Greek protectorate. So when Jewish kids walked through an Italian neighborhood, they walked through with numbers, like six kids. Then six Italians were going to get in a fight. So, man, it was a terrible place, early America. Being 93 years old, I've seen more of America than most of you guys, but I don't want you to take my word for it. You can get books on early America. It's in many books. Yeah. And uh, in the future, there would be books also. It well, shouldn't. Our, oh, sure. Our past shouldn't On necessarily be forgotten. Even against the system I'm talking yeah. about. Mm, of course. Yes, so it, of course. Because uh, that's the way we learn. You should never be afraid of criticism. When you say you don't want to listen to that guy, he's a communist or whatever, you listen to him and you yeah. do decide that. So if, That would be a democratic society to me. Yeah. And if a part of the society would want to keep on to the, um, the cultural the heritage of their okay. past... Say they don't want to live in our cities. They can live outside, but they're not part of the co-op. Mm -hmm. We share, all the nations that join together, share resources, knowledge. But with those that don't want to join, do your own thing. Yeah, okay. But I think eventually their people will say, let's join up. Because... <coughs> We don't want to kill anybody or hurt anybody. They can see, the, but don't twist that wrist. No. Okay. That you understand that? Yeah. I understand. You're free to stay <coughs> in the new society or move out. That's yeah. up to you. It's based. Well, I don't believe there is such a thing as free will because that's based on your background. Yeah. If you say, I decide to become a Catholic, that means you have the exposure to the Catholic viewpoint. <clears throat> if a guy says, I'm agnostic, it means he read more books and, and his decision has changed. Yeah. So free will doesn't exist, it's an illusion. Like you ask an Eskimo what he wants, it's a big eagle that's safe. He doesn't say, I want a stainless steel refrigerator. No Eskimo can say that, you know, because yeah. that's not in their world. Exactly, so it's a free will reference. can't exist. You ask a girl in America, what do you want? She says, I want a home, I want to marry a doctor or a lawyer because he can earn a lot of money. Where the hell does she get that from? Mm -hmm. Now, a girl brought up in the Arab world says, I'd like to be part of the sheikh's wives, the six wives, I'd like to, I'd like to be number one wife in that group. Is that free will? That's never free will. When they raise you, you want to be a doctor. When I was a kid, you could be a spaceman, a police, not a spaceman, policeman or a fireman. That's what we want to be. Or a cowboy. Now, kids want to be space astronauts. Because the environment is different. The free will can't exist. Because you're always brought up as an Indian and they wear feathers and they dance around the fire 
You go la 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 la. If you said to an Indian, it's ridiculous dancing around a fire with feathers. What does that do? The Indian doesn't say, you know, I never thought of it that way. He gets mad at you. So he's saying, don't you have free will? Well, there's free will to wear feathers. Yeah. That's the way the Indians brought up. There can't be free will. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. It's a frame now, of Now, you reference. can be broad by reading a great deal and traveling a lot and reading many books with different points of view and you can learn how to say, I don't know enough about which point of view is the most appropriate. Yeah. But you can't say, this is the right one. Mm. Now, that would be right for you because you're brought up as a Lutheran. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why free will is nonsense. Yeah. But people are brought up to believe they have freedom of choice. So when you're very young, you pledge allegiance to the flag, or you do jury duty as if you're a good citizen. Yeah. Uh, in the Bible it says, judge not, lest you be judged. You know what that means? You don't judge other people. I don't know. When you do jury duty, you're judging other people. So I never had jury. I was called, never did it. Because I know <coughs> that a gangster or a thief is no different than anyone else. They're just brought up in a different environment. And they become pickpockets. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Arab world, they chop the thing hand off a pickpocket. Yeah. You know, that's their free will. You know, so I can't be free will. Yeah. People and your notions of love come from movies, books, whatever. You hold a girl's hand. Now, when you meet a girl, women's values are different than men. What they talk about, tangy lipstick, shit, most men are not interested in. But they want to get fucked. So in the future, people will fuck first and then go out. <laughs> because a guy goes out with a girl because he wants to fuck. No other reason. Well, she's attractive to him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they, they take him out, the violin, music, nice, play, and the girl says, had a wonderful time. That isn't real. In the future, men and women will talk about the real things. Not, hey, you're cute. No dishonesty. Yes. yes. Well, we're dishonest automatically yeah. because of the way we're brought up. You don't use that kind of language around girls. Well, girls say, we want to be treated as equal. Then say, fuck you. Then, mm -hmm. then, then, then you're treated as equal. <laughs> but if you sp change your language, because your mother is respectable, I mean, respectable people to me are bums. They're not open-minded. <clears throat> to be open-minded, you have to listen to all ideas and reject them on the basis of the fact that it doesn't work, not because you don't like it. Mm -hmm. If I say, if you brush your teeth every day, you won't have any dental caries. Most toothpaste has sugar in it, which <laughs> injures your teeth. Yeah. So there's a lot of crap out there, so much of it. That's why the book, A Hundred Million Guinea Pigs, which you can't find in any library. You might find it on the internet. There's other books called Arms and the Men, showing the corruption of war. <coughs> Not available. Why isn't it available? Because you can't control people if they know all these things. Do you understand?